Nearly a year into the pandemic, long-awaited COVID-19 vaccines started to arrive around the country. On December 15th, the University of Vermont Medical Center administered the first vaccines in the state to frontline healthcare workers and first responders. Two days later, the UVM Health Network opened a vaccination clinic at the Champlain Valley Exposition, converting a massive COVID-19 field hospital built by the Vermont National Guard into the first large-scale vaccination clinic in the state. The community rallied around the clinic, with both state and local partners doing whatever they could to help get as many people vaccinated as possible. The first couple weeks were amazing. People laughing, smiling. People that just a month or two earlier, you saw fear on their faces when they were responding to EMS calls. Being there when they're getting their vaccination, you can actually just, um, huge weight lifted off your shoulders. The pace was incredibly fast. You know, people often refer to it as, you know, building the plane as you're flying it. Once we got over to over 400 vaccines a day, the pharmacy team came in and could really take on the preparing of the vaccines. And they were able to just add a whole other level of efficiency. And it allowed our vaccinators just to vaccinate, which was a phenomenal process improvement. All of us that were working together to, to come up with solutions felt the pressure to do this right. It was pretty remarkable the amount of change um, that we were able to put in place in such a short period of time to make an impact. And we went from literally 20 a day to, you know, I think our max is around 1,000. I felt eager and I, I felt thankful and, you know, I, I felt that I was very lucky to be here and, and to have things so nicely organized. Currently Vermont is number one in the nation for doses administered per 100,000 people, which is not a small feat. It's been a tremendous effort over the past few months to think about what we've been able to accomplish, vaccinating hundreds of thousands of Vermonters in no small part due to the efforts at the Essex Fairgrounds. What are you looking forward to the most after you get vaccinated? Getting together with my granddaughters. It's been over a year. Our board of directors from day one is whatever's needed, whatever we need to do. And to hear the numbers of vaccines that are being administered here, just overwhelming. You know, we as an organization are proud to be able to play a part in the state's recovery from this, this pandemic. The efficiency is, is tremendous. I can't think of anything in my time here at the University of Vermont Health Network where we've worked with so many disparate data sources and so many disparate organizations to pull something together. There was just a level of positivity that I think personally just after, you know, just the year we've had, it just felt amazing to be surrounded um, by that. On April 1st, we had 1,030. The second, we had 1,060. The fifth, we had 1,039. Every time something comes up, we, we create a better workflow to make it go smoother. And now you can't even tell that we have 1,000 people going through here. The folks from IT, the folks from pharmacy, the folks from facility, just people who are good thinkers, we got doses into people's arms. And how many lives did those doses potentially save? but looking across the state and the collaboration that we've seen across partners, across entities, has been incredible to be a part of and really a rewarding experience for me to look back on. And when we shut the lights out at the fairground, the thing I'll be most proud of is the people. The people who have contributed in the effort of getting vaccines into people, but also the people who show up at the fairground to get a vaccine who are so appreciative of the effort. I'm proud of the way that our state has handled this. <laughs>